Hey guys, Blade Lover here. Today I'm going to show you my bug out bag and all of the supplies and gear inside of it. If you don't know already, a bug out bag is basically just a, a bag that, or a backpack that you can put all a whole bunch of gear and food and everything in. So basically, if you uh, needed to, if there's a natural disaster or a attack of some sort, basically anything, that would make you and your family have to leave your home and uh, go somewhere else, uh, you know, just get out of harm's way. And for me, basically, that would be going into the woods, deep into the woods with my family, basically for any kind of disasters or anything like that. So basically, uh, most of the stuff in here will be for the woods. Uh, some people's bug out bags have more urban environment stuff, but mine, since I live in more of a rural area, it's going to be in the woods. That's where my family would bug out. So, uh, it is still a work in progress. There isn't everything I need in here. Um, I'm still working on some things, but I've had this for quite some time now. I started. I had a, I've had a bug out bag now for about two years now, and uh, I pulled it out today to restock on food and stuff because it does expire, and I do that every year. So uh, I'm just gonna thought I'd show you what's in here. I'm gonna start from the back and work my way up. I'm gonna start with my pack. I really do need a better pack. This is just a plain old backpack with a couple slots in there. Um, I do need a better one. I'm working on that. Basically, I do have a lot of really nice gear. You know, I buy a lot and really nice stuff, but all my money that goes into gear, I actually use. And then I've only spent about a hundred bucks on this and the other stuff I uh, already had to put forward into the bag. I know a lot of people have a lot nicer stuff in here. I do have quite a bit. Uh, you know, I have quality stuff in here, but some of it is less quality, and a lot of this is a lot less quality than the stuff I actually use, but uh, it'll still get me and my family through things, through anything that we would need to. Okay, so I'm going to start my way at the back. Got some food and water, a whole bunch of canned goods here, uh, and then some Rice crispy Treats, and then right here I have some Cliff Bars and some Granola Bars then some water. Uh, this is, uh, the food I think is good enough to last three days. That's basically your rule for bug out. Bugging out is you don't need enough stuff to last you three days wherever you're going. So I think if we ration this good enough, this would be good enough for our family. Um, maybe water not as much, but I'll show you. I'll talk about that later. But as far as food, um, I think I'm pretty set in here. I also have some uh, oatmeal and some rice in here. So as far as food, I'm doing pretty good. And this is all my water I have in here. I have these two bottles. I have this one bottle that I just threw in there a long time ago, and then a canteen full of water. Uh, so that's pretty much it as far as food and water in here. And uh, now I got some. I got a couple hand warmers in there, and these are just some uh, plastic trash bags. A couple of those, multiple uses for those. This is a. Uh, some uh, nice fleece gloves, work gloves, nice and tough, uh, keep your hands warm too. Got some writing stuff here, just some pens and pencils and some paper. It's always good to write notes sometimes in those kinds of situations. And here I just have some uh, hygiene stuff, a toothbrush, some uh, toothpaste, you know, some dental floss, just everything you need for hygiene. This is a small first aid kit, just with some band-aids and alcohol wipes and stuff like that. And this is also some first aid stuff with some band-aids and more dental floss stuff, some uh, skin shield for bugs and stuff like that. And it's, it's also, actually that's a liquid bandage. I have some bug stuff in here too for bug bites. Got some tape, some medical tape, cotton balls, band-aids. Not the best first aid kit anymore. Uh, but it works. I'm always adding to it. Got some nice wool socks. They're nice and warm. And then I got some uh, coffee filters there for uh, filtering water. That's not my only water filter thing. That's just I got have just have that for getting chunks out of water, like dirt and stuff like that. I'll get more into that later. Those are just some uh, normal coffee filters, though. Here is kind of more to the first aid. I have some Tylenols for pain medication. And uh, here I have a multi-tool 
this is just a Remington multi-tool, not very expensive. I've had I had this one for a really long time, and I actually used used to use that a lot, and I actually really liked it as far as the tools. The knife blade kind of sucks, but the tools are actually really nice on there, so that's why I put that in here. I also have a little Swiss Army knife in here, not the most expensive one, but it's still a pretty nice one. And a box of matches uh, for fire. I also have a small fishing kit here with some hooks and line. Uh, I'm a pretty experienced outdoorsman, so and so is my family, so uh, you know we don't really need too much to live in the woods for three days. We can pretty much make it pretty easily with all this. This is for more urban stuff. Uh, this is a Kubaton, a wooden Kubaton. I used to carry this a lot and then I upgraded to other Kubatons and stuff like that. But uh, this is a pretty nice Kubaton, Kubaton made out of a hardwood and uh, it's, you know, nice and grippy. That's more for urban stuff. Uh, you know, I just always like to have some kind of Kubaton device with me. Um, like I said, I do have these cliff bars here with some granola bars. This is a uh, belt. It can be used for all kinds of stuff. It can be used as a tourniquet, an extra belt, you know, you know, just a whole bunch of uses for that. Dusk mask, you know. This is more for urban environment stuff too. If building collapse or something like that, that'll help a lot. And this is just some uh, paper towels, a whole bunch of paper towels in here. All kinds of uses just for that, you know. Don't really need to talk about the uses for t paper towels. Uh, this is just some toilet paper, you know. That's pretty self-explanatory too. Knife sharpener. I actually like these little Smiths uh, knife sharpeners. They're pretty nice. Uh, so I just got that in there. Got some electrical tape with some rubber bands wrapped around it. Uh, yeah, that's just a good way of carrying rubber bands and electrical tape at the same time. Got a voice recorder here. You know, it's always good to take, uh, you know, notes and stuff on what's happening if there is a disaster. So, uh, and I also have just another knife sharpener. Got some notebook paper and a pen here just on top of uh, the other stuff I have because if I lose that, I still want that. That's basically why I have some redundancy in here is if you lose piece of equipment you have another one of it and I have some tweezers just for pulling splinters out and everything like that a whole bunch of uses for tweezers I have a harmonic a harmonica here this is just uh, if it's a disaster situation you're gonna need some moral support and if you when you're just sitting around uh, you know can really make music can really make a situation a lot better so that's just a good thing to have in there I, like I said I had some oatmeal on here and a bag of rice. Then, you know, that's just more to the food. I have a nice compass right here. You know, it's just a nice compass. Uh, you know, navigation and everything like that. All kinds of uses. Okay, I'm going to explain these crappy flashlights. These are basically two flashlights that I have. Are They're just really crappy. And uh, I used to, I usually have a really nice flashlight in here nice LED flashlight and uh, basically there was a situation a couple weeks ago where we needed more flashlights than we had so uh, I had to pull that one out of here and I just put these two in here until I can get that other one back in here so these are just two crappy ones but uh, the good ones will be back in there soon this is just a set of some binoculars, little binoculars great for everything, just you know, watching people, hunting for animals, everything like that now one of my knives Got my Smith and Wesson SWAT in here. This is more recent that I put this in here. Just a nice folding knife, not too expensive. I don't use it anymore, so uh, you know, just thought I'd put it in here. Locks up nice and tight. Good folding knife for the money. This Winchester. It's a pretty cheap fixed blade, but uh, it's actually pretty nice. I got a nice sharp edge on there, and uh, you know, it'll work. So, uh, yeah, I also just got that on here. Then I have this buck knife in here. I forget, I think this is the, uh, I forget what this buck knife is called. I'll probably annotate it. It has a nice gut hook on there, good skinning blade, nice and sharp. Uh, very comfortable. Just an overall good fixed blade to have. Uh, 
you know, dual purpose, just everything, knife. Nice knife to have in a bug out bag. This one's just a crappy knife. I actually did get a pretty good edge on it, but it's just an extra one I have in case I something happens to these ones. But uh kinda sucks. Um, like I said earlier, I do not have too much water, but I do have this. This is a water filter straw. We do up to 20 gallons of water. So uh, after we get through that, we can just use this. And then along with those filters, you can filter the water through into an empty bottle. And uh, that gets all the dirt out of there. Then just drink it through that. And it filters out everything bad. So that just solves my water problem pretty much. This is a space blanket. Keeps you warm. Uh, up to really, you know, when it gets really cold, this will keep you really warm. Uh, yeah, so that's just, I think every good bug out bag should have a, one of the, these nice, uh, space blankets. Uh, they keep you really warm when it's really cold out, and they're very lightweight and small. Just have a big roll of leather right here, all kinds of uses for this, you know. Just, uh, you know, that's just basically for, you know, anything we would need it for. So I think I got everything up here covered. Okay, now down here, I have, uh, you know, the this is like a wool hunting mask. Good to keep your face warm and everything like that. Keep you covered if you're hunting for any animals. This right here is just a book. Uh, if you ever you need, need something to do, uh, you know, it's good to have a book with you. Then I have a couple other books here, a field guide to birds and a field guide to mammals in North America. These are good just for, you know, spotting things and identifying different animals in the woods. I have a slingshot here full and inside you can put BBs in there so I have, this is full of slingshot BBs. Good for hunting small game. I have actually hunted with slingshots before and successfully killed animals for food. And uh, so I just thought I'd put that in there. That's a nice slingshot for not too much money. And, uh, you know, hunt squirrels and birds with that and get some food. Got some extra, I got some extra batteries for the flashlights and stuff. And uh, have a nice hatchet right here. Uh, I've actually, I like these ones a lot. And I've actually used this one a bit in the past. And uh, has a nice sharp edge on it. It's great for splitting wood for campfires. This is basically my chopper right here, because these knives aren't going to be very good for chopping wood, so that's basically why I have this. This one's interesting. This is a uh, bow and arrow that collapses down, and basically you just put all these together on here. You know, you can just stick the things in there, and this is the string for it, and then you have a nice bow and arrow. But uh, I haven't figured out how to put arrows in to it yet into the bag, because they don't really fit, so... Uh, I know how to make arrows, but they're not as nice. They don't shoot as accurately as the store-bought ones. Uh, so I'm just kind of still trying to figure that out. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to pack arrows into a bag, uh, help me out with that down in the comments below. Um, last item here. This is just a wooden baton, side handle baton. More for the urban environment. Uh, you know, basically have this just for self-protection against people, if you had to. Uh, and I actually do like this, having this in here. It's a pretty nice baton, and, uh, wasn't too much money. So, ba that's basically it. Basically all I have in here. I know it is a work in progress, so just give me any suggestions that you guys have, and, uh, that's pretty much it. See you next time.